Over the last year, I've implemented five practices into my edit workflow that have cut my time spent editing by more than half. If you watch this entire five minute video, you will save 20 times that amount during your first edit session using these techniques. I've been editing for 12 years professionally. For me to cut my time in half in one year with these techniques is astounding. We have our interview clips on the timeline. I'm gonna hit Control A, select them all, go up to Sequence, down to Close Gap, and then I'm going to go to the Color Workspace. I'm gonna to go to Creative immediately, and on the clip here, I'm gonna select a LUT that I have built specifically for this environment, for this camera. Apply that in the creative. I'm gonna check my Lumetri scopes. Looks good in terms of the exposure. You should take the time to either build your own LUTs for your specific cameras or buy LUTs made for specific cameras to dial in the looks and make this part really, really quick. Now that I have my color correction done very quickly based on this look, I'm going to hit Shift 5. That's gonna bring my effects window up. I'm gonna right click on my Lumetri color, cut, and I'm gonna go over to my master tab here. I'm going to paste, and now that is going to apply that to every single instance of this clip. So if I click on my timeline, all of my clips will be color corrected at this point. And if I toggle on my global effects, you can see it on and off here, on and off here. If you don't have this here, you can add it with this little button. It'll be there. Go ahead and drag it down, hit okay, and it'll show up. If you're digging this video, Click the thumbs up. Hooray! Now where I'm going to go ahead and select all, control A, I'm going to hit unlink. I'm going to go ahead and select these bottom three tracks. I'm gonna delete them. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm gonna select all my clips. I'm gonna right click. I'm going to hit audio gain and we're gonna do normalize all peaks and I'm gonna do negative 0.5. I'm not gonna have music under this. So that's where I'm gonna be at. You pick how loud you want yours. That's going to increase the volume of all your clips and equal it out. Now with all my clips selected, I'm going to go over to my essential sound panel. If that's not open, go to window, down to essential sound, click that on. It will show up on the right. Hit dialogue, these are all dialogue. Now inside of your essential sound panel, I'm gonna go through loudness. I'm going to hit auto match, and that's gonna even further normalize the sound throughout. So while you're watching the video, you're not gonna have all these crazy peaks. I'm gonna hit repair. I'm going to apply the reduce noise. This feature has been worked out and is very nice now. I usually do three. You can slide these and play back for yourself to find what works for you. You can do a little bit of looping to find out. Mark your in and out. Click here for your loop. You hit play. You can monitor the sound. Move this, find the sweet spot. I know in my studio here, three is the number for me. And I'm gonna show you what I do for my specific studio. Find your numbers yourself. I'm not gonna reduce rumble. Don't like how it sounds. Don't like de-hum. I do like DS. We're gonna do three on that. We're going to skip reverb dynamics. I'm gonna go three on that, leave that there. Hit EQ. I'm gonna do boost male, enhanced speech, male, and then I'm done on occasion. For dynamics, you'll have to hit reanalyze and that'll reanalyze the clips. Now that I have all my clips here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click them one more time, hit audio gain, normalize all peaks, negative 0.5, enter. It's gonna shift them a little bit further. I like how Essential Sound performs now. It's doing great work on my sound and it's really, really fast. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Hooray! Using a template project file and folder system for my project saves me an immense amount of time. I have a template for client projects and I have a template for YouTube projects. Each of these has pre-built bins that have everything that I need to work in the environment that I am working in. We're looking at my YouTube template now that includes sound effects that are already loaded in, graphics that I use frequently in my YouTube videos already loaded in. Basically anything and everything that I use consistently throughout my projects on YouTube and throughout my videos on YouTube is already in the project. I don't have to look for it. I don't even have to make it. If you like what you're hearing, subscribe below. Hooray! The next element that saves me a ton of time, which is pre-building assets for my work. Specifically on YouTube, I pre-build my bumpers. I pre-build my graphics. I pre-build my lower thirds. I pre-build everything to save me time 
So every time I make a video, I'm not rebuilding things. Pre-building assets is a huge time saver. For example, let's say I wanna drop in my shop bumper. I click it, I drag it down, I close the gap, and then it's already there, ready to go. If you're looking for valuable tools to help you become a successful freelance filmmaker, I have a ton at nixfort.com slash shop. Producer kit, contract kit, client kit, pricing worksheet, cinema LUTs, all that good stuff. Go check it out. And once your edit is completely done and you're ready to export, a huge time saver for you will be having presets based on your exporting needs. For YouTube specifically, I have a upload final version and that includes all of the specs that I need to have a high quality YouTube export. And on top of that, it publishes to my YouTube channel and uploads it directly without me doing another step. The moment I hit export, that baby is getting sent to you guys. If you're finding this helpful, please share this video with someone else who will also find it helpful.